Yeah, there's virtually a 90 to 100 percent chance that we will have storms tomorrow somewhere in the area. The odds of them hitting your exact location probably on the order of maybe 60%, 60, 70. Let's take a look right now. Skyview showing pretty clear conditions. We had a little bit of, again, fog early this morning, and I expect we might have a little bit this coming morning. But for the most part, the big news will be the rain chances tomorrow, and then eventually heat followed by cool. The first time we've had cool weather in the forecast in a while. Talked earlier about everything that was over us dying out, but down here to the south and west, this is holding together. That that's an indication that there is at least a little bundle of energy in the atmosphere that's sliding through and you need that to keep the storms going overnight. We had it early today and tomorrow you say, well, that means more of the same, right? Probably not. Maybe in a couple of areas, especially in North Carolina, but not the large extent that we had earlier. Temperature right now 79, but with a dew point at 74, we have that humidity creeping up partly because of that wind out of the east at six miles per hour. High temperatures today, a lot of 83s, 84s and 85s, although you start to creep up above those numbers when you get down to the south. But for most of the area again into the morning, I think that's over done very isolated shower potential, especially down to the south and then most of the day like today or many hours anyway without rain. But watch what happens as that southerly flow kicks in the heat, the humidity and that approaching system from the west will mean a few heavy downpours and then those will tend to dry out overnight before we kick it all off again Wednesday afternoon with a little bit of heat that day. High temperatures up near 90. It'll feel like close to 100, probably the upper 90s. And see that front? You can see the northwest winds and the southwest. So right in there is a front that comes through Wednesday evening pushes all the showers offshore. And then for Thursday, we look at lower temperatures and lower humidity levels. But for tomorrow, enough heat and humidity to com combine to make it that combination feel like the mid 90s. Here's a little bit of a system again out to the west starting to hold together near Raleigh. So this looks a lot like what I showed yesterday. We were talking about the potential and I, I mentioned it all the time, mention it all the time. Don't focus exactly on, you know, this area is going to get 1.1, that 1.6 or whatever. This gives you an idea of the range across the area, depending on exactly where the cells set up. There will be spots where you get nothing or a couple of tenths, a number of them, where other areas will get in the next 48 hours another couple of inches. So tonight, muggy and warm 73 for the low tomorrow, 85 scattered showers or storms mainly in the afternoon, but I think even one or two during the morning Wednesday. 90 degrees and then Thursday, a beautiful day. Friday looking nice and temperatures come up a tiny bit Saturday and Sunday, as does the humidity, but it should be pretty nice too.